pH is very uncommon the younger a man is and it doesn't increase in frequency and become clinically relevant for the majority of people until men progress beyond the age of 40. A man is 80 years of age, around 80% of men in that age bracket will have some evidence, some histological evidence of BPH. As there is progressive and gradual obstruction to the outlet pipe of the bladder, there is the development of urinary symptoms. We characterize urinary symptoms into two main categories those that are related to the obstruction of the bladder and those that are related to storage of the urine or irritative symptoms. As there is progressive obstruction to the bladder, the flow or the pressure a man generates will be slower. It can take longer for him to pee and sometimes the stream can be intermittent. Symptoms that are due to the bladder arise because of changes that happen in the bladder wall. As you can imagine, every pee that a man does day in day out over the course of several years if there is increasing outlet resistance the pressure that the bladder needs to generate to try and force urine out beyond that obstruction needs to increase so for every pee over a long period of time trying to generate more pressure to expel urine from the bladder results in increased deposition of muscle fiber or development of the bladder wall muscle which is called the detrusor muscle and that muscle actually gets thicker with time and as it gets progressively thicker, the bladder wall loses its elasticity and therefore loses its compliance. What that means in essence is instead of being a big elastic floppy bag, the bladder then becomes stiffer and more rigid. What happens in that situation is that a man's perception of fullness happens at a lower capacity. An urgency can get severe enough to the point where men race or rush to the toilet and they get caught short. They don't make it to the toilet in time and they leak urine before they actually make it there.